But what I want to talk about is my raised bed here. And seeing that we you know, probably have another month of sporadic cold temperatures. Um, you know, you don't have to have a greenhouse to get a head start on spring here in New England. It could be anything from, you know, old windows uh, placed on some blocks for a cold frame or a small cold frame that you can put on uh, the little area that you want to start planting or start your seedlings in. Or even if you want to, you know, a place to harden off your plants that you started inside. So let's take a look at something that I built and I'm going to put on this raised bed here. I don't know where these stray tulip bulbs uh, come from. I don't know if the squirrels planted those. So basically you cut the boards to whatever dimension you want and I've got a slight angle to these if you can see that. And you just use hinges that you can take the pins out if you want to be able to disassemble it. I mean, there's no reason why you can't leave it. I was looking at this. I had put uh, pins. I didn't have boards the thickness I wanted, so I put pins. I put dowels um, in one side here and added an extra board length. But this is going to be resting on dirt, so what you can do, you know, they have that new manufactured or that PVC uh, product for trim and you know you could this here was sort of like a sacrificial board but with that PVC which is expensive you could only you'd only have to use the bottom portion here you wouldn't have to buy the really thick trim that's more expensive that you could use you know dowel connect that with dowels or however you want to connect it to the bottom and that would be resting on the soil and then that wouldn't that would never rot it would outlast the rest of the uh, cold frame but yeah you just put these hinges in all four corners and it's, it comes apart real easy and then I use this this is the top I use that that plastic I guess it's sun tough is one of the names for this product you know it's used for like patio covers or you know, you could use it to build your own little greenhouse. There's, there's no R value to it. And this is sort of turned a little bit of opaque. But that might be a good thing because it doesn't get the full sun. But this is the top. I've got hinges. And the only thing on a windy day like today, uh, I'm going to connect one of these or hook up, install one of these safety hooks here so the wind doesn't pick the top up smash it. So let's put this together. So that took about a minute, and then the top goes on. So 
So when I made that, uh, you know, obviously I made it with the idea of having a smaller raised bed, but it'll it'll still do. I can still use it. Let's put the top on now. So the last thing I want to do is add this safety latch so the wind doesn't catch the top and blow it open. I already drilled a hole here. You can hear it's still pretty windy out today. So this comes up and that's secure. So all set. So this is what it looks like. Need to put, um, I don't know, some type of piece of wood on the side here so I can control the height that I want this and then I don't want the wind to take it either so I'd have to put some ch type of chain on there. I was thinking about those um, gas pistons that they have on the back of the caps on a, a truck cap. You know the, the pistons that they have. I don't know how expensive those are. I'll go see if they have any cheap ones you know if it's under 10 bucks or something but yeah I'll put this to use let's see what it looks like on the side as a profile and I was thinking of putting a try putting a cover crop here that I can turn under for organic matter or also there's um, a cover crop that affixes uh, like peas do uh, nitrogen to the roots so it'll when you turn it up turn it over it turns uh, puts nitrogen into the soil but this should give me a little bit of protection with these freezing temperatures we might have from here until I don't know the end of May we'll see I think I still I see mosquitoes around every once in a while so they're still out they'll be out early this year yeah so this is the cold frame I know a lot of times they say think outside the box maybe this is one of those times that you need to think inside the box so that's my cold frame and uh, I'll probably make some more and Thanks for watching my video.